Hey, so I attended my fifth Emerald meeting. Um, it was about technology and if it hinders communication, also if technology causes inequality or not, more or less. And I have my friend here, her name is Osaya. She attended the meeting with me as well. She's gonna be adding a couple talking points as we go along. So this Emerald meeting, we had a debate. Um, the debate took place with two different, well, four different groups, but two groups debated on whether technology hindered communication, and I was in that group, and the other group was? Um, whether technology increases inequality or uh, eliminates inequality. Right. So in both groups, my group made some great points about uh, technology hinder hindering communication um, because People can lose the um, ability to socially interact as a whole, but it does allow for quick communication between people. Also, you can kind of lose the classical genuine conversation between people. Um, and then there was another, the another point brought up um, that 90% of influential conversations do happen offline and in person, whereas only 8% occur online. So that was a great topic because many people do lose or try to avoid a natural conversation um, by retreating to their technology and things of that nature. Um, also, I would just to add to that, just like being in the like work field as far as like internships are concerned or just like interviews in general, um, a lot of good interviews come from body language and how like you interact with someone in person rather than like if you have a phone interview or a video chat interview, it's kind of harder to uh, detect whether that person is qualified for the job or not, whether they, um, when you see that by like their body language and like see how they like interact with you and how like comfortable they are with the situation and like what they're talking about, that all comes from like that one-on-one -on -one personal interaction. Yeah, because you lose those social cues, you know, people like feed and look for those social cues to know what you actually mean, what you're saying. Even though they created emojis to help you mean what you say while you communicate, but that's just not enough compared to an actual social interaction. And that's exactly what you need, especially in the classroom. Um, also, there was a question brought up, does technology create more or less inequality as a society as a whole? And um, we did not talk much about this topic in the actual Emerald meeting, but I wanted to bring it up just a little bit in this video, if I could. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think that technology, in a, in a sense, can create waves to uh, like um, serve as uh, something that can break inequality, but for right now, as society stands, it's not really doing anything but putting, like making the inequality more present in society. It's putting, it's shining a light mm -hmm. to the inequality. It's not really fixing it. Mm -hmm. So I just think that and the technology is just serving as another medium to convey the inequality rather than fixing it as a whole. Um, just to add to that, I also think that um, although, you know, I feel like, <clears throat> um, Social media as a part of technology brings to light different situations, brings like, uh, takes away like naiveness and like basically makes like other cultures like aware of other cultures. It also doesn't, doesn't, um, it doesn't solve like, it's not, it doesn't solve like inequality. It basically, like he said, like shine stuff to light, but it doesn't, although you have like a video of someone um, getting shot down police on camera, that doesn't necessarily mean that there will be justice in that situation. We've been through plenty of situations in, especially United States history, that it shows that although you see something, it's right in your face, that doesn't necessarily mean that that is the outcome of the situation. Um, and <clears throat> just by like, people just around the world being able to see these issues and see how unjust they are, um, that doesn't change the, that doesn't change that they're happening, mm -hmm. just because they're right in your face. Right. Um, you would think that it would change it, but although that's just like not the world that we live in today. Right. So I feel like that's, that's an aspect that's like, although technology is increasing and it, and it does make people aware, it does make people like aware of different cultures, that doesn't necessarily mean that the issues of like social construction and um, like social economic backgrounds are changing within those um, like advancements. Right. So like in conclusion, 
Um, technology does hinder communication, but also can advance communication, especially as we move along um, historically. Um, also, that technology can't really dis like it can't really take away the inequality that's already present. Like the, it can make strides to do that, but that really using since people are like the people who use technology, we, it has to be the actual people who use it to change the inequality. The technology can't do that for us because we control it. Um, last topic, well, put the phones away, kids, because you're going to miss a lot of vital information if your nose is buried in your phone. So um, thanks, Messiah, for um, tuning in. <laughs> but, so yeah, that's um, our Emerald for the night. All right.